guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nasu Dragi here, and you're watching Game of Nutsu. And let's rumble! Okay, as you guys know, I'm doing the Alcon Quest. Okay, before getting any further, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, uh, let me just. Sorry for disturbing. Okay, everything is good, everything is good. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Cry from the hospital. Okay. We need to go here. There it is. Hey, wasn't I finished this early? Follow the car up. Sign up. Okay, oh, 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 before getting any further, yeah, the imaginary character, I need a lot of amino and cryo, which I only have one cryo user that is available. I have two amino, amino users that will be available. Just need to upgrade her to the last, and also need to upgrade her skills, by the way. Oh, 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 and let me... Show you wonder. I upgraded his. Uh, uh, he is now. His normal attack is 8. His Song of Wind is 6. And his Burst is 6 as well. Which, by the way, I have. I just need few of this. And I'll upgrade his one. Okay. Her is now at 8. Her skill. Her normal attack is still at 3. Her Burst is at. Hmm, six, which is good. Oh, and Kayans is still at eight, eight, and six. Meanwhile, he has six, eight, and eight. But Diluc has nine, eight, and ten, which I, by the way, crowned it. And its artifacts are these. And her son. Oh, man, did I call her her? Okay. This is this, and Kayan is this, and Wanderers are this. I mainly use this, and with more of crit rate and crit damage. I crit. You can got. You guys can put it however you like. Okay. While I use. Okay, let's go. Huh. This is kind of sweet. Ooh, just kind of missed there. Okay, let's talk to Sino. So, where do we go from here? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Okay, so we're gonna follow Sino, huh? I know the desert like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert, but I was the one who brought him back. Okay. So I know what There's it is. Here. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. You do not have sleeves. We, all of us don't have sleeves. Well... Okay, while I do have gloves, I think he also okay. has gloves. So, we have to take it out? Whatever's down there, looks like it's very, really deep. Okay. That will be more likely fragments of an academia-developed device, something akin to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way, because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Okay, okay. Hmm. Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. I do. How did it end up buried in the sand? I think I, I heard this voice. In an anime before, but I cannot pinpoint where I heard his voice. So drop it on a comment, which maybe I should find myself, right? They must have been attacked yeah. along the way. Wait, what? 
Grandpa. I hope you're okay. Don't worry. Your grandpa's gonna be fine. Yeah. This house of faith, kid. Signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should Ooh. be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device, I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. Hmm. Oh, come on. But you're not even running, running Paima. Flying, are you, Paima? Is flying over sand tiring too? <gasps> Thank you, kid. Uh, of course it is. Thank you for voicing that out. Voices over there. Sounds, Sounds like an argument. argument. Sounds like an argument. <laughs> He is giving me Batman voice. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. Okay, I have with the Aramites. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's listen in. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to. You're one of us. We would never. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need <laughs> I knew it. That's our deal. Sia? No. Would you? Kid, now. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? What? <laughs> well, uh, this complicates things. You've betrayed Alu Village. So, this is the great general. Dear, yeah, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself. I have the means and methods. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. It doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing can deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting King Deshret. Once our <laughs> Lord of Old returns to this land, God. we have a new beginning. Face the facts, Raman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of King Deshret. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort... It's not too late yet. The village keep... <clears throat> mad scholars aren't gonna bring King Deshret back to life. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if it'll expose you to the academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp the Academia's forces and fight up. Ridiculous. Think about it. The Academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the Academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. <laughs> you look more like pawns of the Academia to me. Why would they listen to anything? People of greater lord, filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed King Deshret. We just... It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? These people have no value as bargaining chips. But I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. These scholars were exiled from the Academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe, and will be a much greater asset to you. Wait, you can't be serious. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? Precisely. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? Well, that would be bad luck for me. 
However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> oh. Okay, this is a risky plan. I'll hate them. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the academia? Not all desert dwellers believe in King Deshret, and the same applies to the academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the academia's way of doing things? <laughs> you academia scum! Every last one of you is nothing but it. Not so fast. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make him. You know you're making a dangerous decision. I do. We do. <laughs> Raman, and I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Maybe you can't. We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. <sighs> Come on, Raman, don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. <laughs> An arm from the flame main. You've piqued my interest. What if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here, dear. We're mercs. The mercs don't tend to live. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. Uh, let's do it right here then. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. Yeah, no. Don't listen to him. He's not even trying to negotiate. He just wants to make things more difficult. That's fine. Are you crazy? Yeah, that's you a fake arm. Save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman. Sure. Go ahead and cut off the right arm. No, 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 no. You don't have to go this far. That's not for you. Do it. Flame Main, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no. You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your. Okay, that is scary. Seriously? That was crazy. Have you all lost your minds? Why did you actually cut your arm off? Yeah, yeah. I'm I made time on this though. Play more with my left arm. Please do not do that ever again. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more that they came from. Even if we got rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping them out would do more harm than good. <sighs> As you wish. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. I should have trusted you. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your- Whatever it takes? <laughs> you just might be scholar material. Huh? Are you serious? The Aramites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. To yeah, he is a little bit crazy. That's... Nah. 
you know, he and Dilo kind of gives me the same vibe. Oh. Okay. Yes, I did not complete my daily mission. I just woke up and started this. Okay, I need to wait till six. Well, that might be enough. Okay. Da da bum 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 how about you take a rest while I go back? I'm really Okay. Bada bada bum. Ba bada bum. Ba. <laughs> okay. I should really stop. Ooh, I do not have any much hammer uh, hydro character as well. I need to upgrade a lot. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? Watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there. Okay. Dia, wait. What's the matter? I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? I'll be very upset with you. <sighs> Fine. Go. Oh. Go, lady. Oh, she's so whipped. She's still whipped. I'm gonna ship them. <laughs> oh, I do a lot of shipping. Look at where to. Whoa! Okay, I just need to teleport here. I came to a lot of places, so. It would be so much easier. Okay. I noticed in this. I did came. Oh yeah, I did see this. Just no equipment. Okay, found you. Got here before us. Uh oh. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? Is everything ready? Absolutely. You brought fewer people than I imagined. Bring him over. Grandpa! Please, there only would have been. Come on. I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's. The it's a one for one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? But let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Uh-uh. You stay right there! We're gonna fight, are we? Okay, what the hell? Whoa, oh, wow, wow, the... Wait, the weapon is not so good. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm literally biting my nails. Not an earthquake. Definitely not an earthquake. Nahida. Oh, God. 
Seriously, did he die? Oh my god, that was cute! <laughs> This day's going just great. <laughs> what a nuisance. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. I glowed green with Tentro. <laughs> just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scum. The Dendro are gone. The present one. Grandpa? Again. Hey, look around you. Did there used to be a temple here? King it seems Desha. that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to King Deshret's civilization. The structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, miracle. Praise King Deshret! What's he doing here? They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him. He got off lightly. <laughs> yeah. Mind your head. No, oh, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to... Uh actually gonna go in there, is he? As it happens, I want to take a look inside too. Okay. What are you doing? Don't you think it's curious? One minute Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, remnants of King Deshret's civilization appear. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. I thought you weren't interested in God. Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being, or creature, you could say. New discoveries are always worth investigating, but if they have anything to do with gods, is neither here nor there. Yeah. Raman, what are you gonna do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. King Deshret will take care of his people. This I hate about people. You need to take care of yourself. And okay, I got this. How many wishes do I have now? In the time wishes, I have 19. Now will be 20, which I'm gonna buy. Now this will be fast forward. Huh? I didn't know. Hey, okay, this upgrade. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna a conversation do a wish. Just to occupy How about minutes. I do a wish now? Like I have five of this. So why not? Yeah. I just want to know if you guys are lucky to witness anything cool. Cause my luck is usually like this. Maybe I should edit that out. Um, maybe I should just fast forward it. I should have waited. Okay, I need electro and cryo. Do not have an electro. I do have an electro. Though. Not this one, but this. Um. Let's finish this swiftly. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, this is August. I forgot. It's full of life here. 
This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yeah! And there's so many plants. It's so pretty! Sir Ramon. Huh? <laughs> do you are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? He's giving you respect. However you want, but there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from King Deshret's civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, okay. What the hell? Okay, let's do this. What do I do? Look up at the hall as the model. How do I do it? Okay, hold on. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting pissed off. That took a freaking while. Oh, what the hell happened? 
Okay. I'll use it. Oh, I get it now. What the hell? So I just need to wait. Just okay, what the hell is happening? The rats are sight to see. King Desert Splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than the rats I can. That's what I call divine providence of King Desert. Okay. Oh god. For a second I must freak out! Oh my god. Okay. Please don't answer. Please don't answer. Just not me. But it's also like, kind of remind me of Inazuma. Remind me of Inazuma. With the cherry blossoms. With what? all. What's that? I'll auto play they it. Left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient King Deshret script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. He's not serious, right? Okay, that is There's just still crazy. Something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. <laughs> okay. Hmm. The there seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device for King Deshret's civilization in this gravesite. Isn't shallow knowledge against the Academia's rules? Yes. However, under the circumstances, I prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. 
Okay. That's going to be a long video. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. <coughs> King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in our village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Cool! What was that? The priest's memories. No! no. Greater Lord Wukadavata. So the former Dendro Archon and King Deshret were never enemies at all. But this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... Was that the former Dendro Archon? <laughs> okay, that is too much. You might be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt King Deshret's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. The surviving followers of King Deshret all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refuse to believe any of the rumors. King Deshret's death the all but total annihilation of our civilization. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. Just like us humans. Fighting, feuding, double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. If I hadn't seen this for myself, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is... Raman, that's enough. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of you. Dear, my Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Hey, how you doing? Eh, I'll live. Thanks. I should probably go. Can just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel, but please uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, 
Somehow, I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your mad... Uh, sorry, your village keepers. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the Sages. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. It's the people responsible for all of us that need to face the consequences. All right. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. Ramon's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in King Deshret. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people. The outcome, at least, is favorable. We should get going, too. Let's head back. Stop yelling. I think it's time for this reborn. Okay. That was big. The secret of scorching desert. Huh. Oh, I get a desert though. Sweet. Right place. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Bye!